Hello everyone. So in this subject, we are just going to talk about introduction to PHP. Um, a lot of you probably have taken the web design course, which talk about the HTML, the cascade, the skating style sheet, and also maybe some JavaScript. As you know, HTML is a structural layer language. It is organizing the content in a way that um, you see the picture and the words in a meaningful way. The CSS, as you know, it's the presentational layer, which make the content of the HTML look good. JavaScript and PHP, they are actually working on the behavioral layer, how it will interact with the web visitor. So um, if you want to have a web page that is, uh, or a website that is static, you can use HTML with CSS. But if you wanted to have a, a web page or a website that is dynamic and behave the way you want the visitor to interact with it, you have to use some sort of a um, web development language such as uh, JavaScript and PHP. So we have two type of um, programming side when we are talking about um, the web um, language. The client side programming versus the server side programming. The client side programming, which is being executed in the browser, and um, maybe you have done this in your um, HTML or web design class, and that's using the JavaScript, maybe Visual Basic script, JScript, and so on. The server side programming, it actually executes it on the server. So maybe, uh, and this is more dynamic web programming language such as ASP, Perl, JSP, PHP, Cold Fusion, and so on. So normally, if you want to create a dynamic web page, you will combine these techniques together to get a better result. PHP, as we said, it's an um, open source server side programming languages. It's open source in a sense that you don't have to pay for it. And um, a lot of people have put their mind into it to create this type of uh, programming languages. So it is being executed on the server. So you need to have a web server on your computer. And um, if you have taken the COP3718 class um, with me, you have all set up a web server. And we will do this in this class because some of you, maybe you haven't taken that. Um, embedded languages um, is being considered as PHP because it is being embedded with the HTML. So it is embedded within that web page. And um, the PHP actually don't require you to declare the data types or variables. Um, as we said, it will be embedded into your HTML document, as you can see on the right side of this screen. So we have the HTML opening bracket, the body, and all of that. And then if you want to have the PHP into it, you will have the PHP tag, and then you can actually um, use the uh, PHP syntax to be able to write it inside the HTML document. So every language, of course, it has its own syntax. Um, you all know that maybe Perl has a syntax, Java has a syntax, and C has a syntax. So um, PHP by itself also uses the curly braces, semicolons, and things like that, very similar to C. And um, also you will use the dollar sign to start the variable name that are associated with arrays from the Perl language. So it's a combination of three different languages, like using those syntaxes. So I mean, if you have uh, done some programming in Java, maybe some of these syntax would be easier. If you have done some programming in C, maybe it would be easier. Also, if you have done some Perl programming, it's kind of very similar, but it has its own syntax. Um, so basically, uh, a lot of web servers are actually supporting PHP, Apache, Microsoft IIS, Cadium, Netscape, Enterprise servers, all of them are actually uh, supporting the um, PHP. Operating system that you can use it on, of course, on Mac, Windows, Unix, Linux, um, they're all supporting it. Databases, MySQL, um, the DB, uh, DBase, the IBM DB2, Oracle, SQLite, Sybase, 
Unix, DBM, and etc. are actually supporting um, the PHP language as well. And uh, it can basically run on almost any web server and on multiple operating systems. And um, like, for example, if you have a hosting site, they are actually supporting PHP. They are have, um, you know, you will have no problem. So it is actually um, very easy to be incorporated to web servers, operating system, and databases. So we are talking about the ba ba building data-driven websites. As we said, um, we are using B PHP and MySQL. Uh, the PHP, as we said, is an open source service uh, server side programming language and of course the MySQL which is the open source relational databases. Um, maybe you have used MySQL in past um, and uh, you know the syntax and you are familiar with it. Um, it's very similar to SQL um, server as well. The SQL commands very similar to each other and um, again MySQL is as as also open source. They work very well together to, in, uh, to build the interactive website. So I have some, um, um, I mean, if you were in COP 3718, you already have this installation, but if not, you can download open source packages for Apache, Web Server, MySQL, and PHP scripting. Um, you can have it, the WAMP, or MAMP or LAMP. I would suggest you to actually download WAMP and follow the instruction on WAMP server, how to install WAMP server. Um, I'm gonna actually put a video again to just kind of show you how to install it again. And also I want you guys, um, last semester in COP3718, you use Notepad++. So you can use the Notepad++ as a code editor and then basically download it from this link um, and be able to work with it as well. And um, so the first thing that you can do after you install this on your um, computer, you want to actually test your basic um, document. So as you can see here, we will have it on local host. You can actually create a folder called COP4834 and then you can put this test.php in it. And you should be able to see your hello world printing out here if you use the echo code. So the, um, so as, as maybe some of you know, the echo is a building PHP function to output the text on the web page. So our exercise one, which I want you guys to do it by next Sunday, is to install the VAMP, set it up on your local host environment using the Apache server, MySQL, and PHP. Install Notepad++ and also create that test.php. I hope you had a great time and um, watch for my other video of how to install VAMP. And please let me know if you have any problem installing it. I can even um, log online with you and try to install it together. Have a great day. Bye-bye.